Hi, this is Cody from Liquid Laboratory Studio. Today we're going to be calibrating the new DJI Mavic Pro Drone and how to calibrate the new DJI Phantom 4 Pro Drone. A lot of people are asking when to calibrate it. Um, this is for the visual sensors, so you'll actually usually get a prompt on your app that says uh, calibrate on a computer for better uh, accuracy or if you want to just do it out of the box or, or periodically. So uh, consideration, we're showing you this video because it's actually quite complicated to calibrate it. Uh, it took me six machines to get it right, so we're going to save you all that time. Um, in the end, I was able to install it on a Windows 7 PC, and um, I tried Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows XP, and it all failed. Um, in the installation process, it goes and actually installs it in through DOS, and it's not digitally signed, so Windows just rejects it, and, and it was in Chinese, so the computers didn't like it, and it wasn't digitally signed. Uh, enough about that. Um, Windows 8 didn't work, Windows 10 didn't work, and Windows XP didn't work. So if you can have a friend or a computer that's safe to install some interesting program on, uh, put it on there. So what we're going to do is kind of walk you through the setup, show you how to do it, and um, show us some love. Please like and subscribe. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to DJI.com, not the store. Uh, the actual DJI.com because it will get kind of confusing. So then you're going to go down to Drones and the Mavic and Phantom 4 Pro. And if you scroll on just a little bit, it's uh, downloads. And there's three main files for that. There's the zip and the executable for Windows. I recommend the executable if you have a fast enough connection. And um, if you have a Mac, there's a file here. Um, good luck with that one. So we're going to go ahead and click on the executable and start downloading. Now the uh, file here has downloaded the DJI Assistant 2. So we're going to go ahead and install. Um, there's another way, uh, if it doesn't pop up, you can go here through Downloads, and it will come up right here, and also in your Downloads file. So let's go ahead and install this. You go to Run, it's going to ask a lot of security stuff and, and warn you not to install it, so just to give you a heads up. Make sure you have over 350 uh, megabytes on your hard drive. Now it's going to start installing some of the drivers and who knows what else in DOS. Um, so that's all done. So let's launch it. Alright, so at this point you want to take your username and account and log in. Um, so we created a fake one for this. Um, and uh, plug your drone in. So let's get started. Uh, now we're in the DJI Assistant. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you do not have the blades on. Um, those, if it starts for whatever reason, could be dangerous. Uh, next thing, have a full battery. And right down here you actually have this um, micro USB port. You want to plug in your cable, same one that's on most mobile devices. We're going to turn it on. You're going to have to install a driver. It says not installed through Windows, but we'll be able to go into it here. So now you want to go into calibration. It's going to pull it up here. There's other things you can do here, firmware updates, um, more exclusive. But because it's Windows 7, it'll actually let us go through this. So from calibration, go down to next. There's a tutorial how to do it. So basically in the tutorial they're showing you, you want to keep the back end of the aircraft um, stationary. You're just going to be moving the front of it. And then you'll be moving it forward and backward depending on it. So let's go to next. and it will give you errors. So the first thing it wants you to do is move the aircraft to where you get these green squares lined up. Now there's these little boxes and you basically chase them. And do not move the back of the aircraft, only the front. Now it wants you to move it back further until you get the green to line up and again chase the boxes.
Now I want you to calibrate the down cameras. That'd be the two on, on the bottom side. Same thing. Only tilt the aircraft, do not move it. Keep it centered. So you make it bigger, same thing. And it's calculating, it's going to process. And there we have it, it's calibrated. Now we're going to calibrate the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you do not have the propellers on there. It could get really dangerous. Uh, next thing, you take a micro USB port, same one that's on a phone and most electronic devices. Plug it in here. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. We'll go into the Phantom 4. I'm going to go to calibration. There's a lot of neat things up here, like you can do firmware updates, resets, controller calibration, um, data upload flight, uh, flight data simulator. But we're going to be doing the calibration. So let's go next, next, calibrate now. So we're going to start with the front. Uh, something to remember, you want to keep the aircraft centered on the screen. And we're going to move it in. So you keep the back of the aircraft straight while you just tilt the front. and chase the squares. Okay, we're going to move it back. Center it on the screen. Same thing, keep the back of the aircraft flat while chasing the front by tilting the front of the aircraft. Okay, so now it wants to do the downward ones, but it's going to tell us to tilt it 90 degrees. It's going to tilt the aircraft 90 degrees. Keep it centered, line the squares up. Same thing, keep the aircraft centered and just tilt it, chasing the squares. Move back, keep the aircraft centered and just tilt it. Now let's calibrate the rear, the third and final segment. Turn the aircraft around, camera facing you. I'm going to move it. That lines up. Keep the aircraft centered and only tilt the front. Keep the back stationary. Just the squares. Move it back, same thing. Keep it centered and only tilt the front of the aircraft. Now it's going to update the memory on the aircraft, so it says it could take up to a minute, but it should happen very quickly. It's going to install an update of the calibration. And there you have it, a successful visual sensor calibration uh, for the front, rear, and bottom sensors of the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. So please show us some love, like, and subscribe. Thank you.